Mark Gisconti reporting on a very interesting uh, breaking story in Staten Island, New York. Now, I was hesitant to to dive into this uh, story until I was sure the circumstances surrounding the hit, right? Or was it actually a hit? So a mob boss, his name is uh, Frankie Cali, Frankie Boy. Frankie Boy Cali was whacked in Staten Island in front of his house in Toad Hill, the very uh, prominent area in Toad Hill. And just as a disclaimer, as a, as a caveat, that I grew up in Staten Island. So I'm, I'm uniquely qualified to be discussing the subject. I grew up in Staten Island until actually I was, I lived in Brooklyn for till I was about seven or eight years old, then somewhere out west. And then I grew up in Staten Island from age like nine years old to 20 and then returned. So I, I know Staten Island very, very well. The players that we're about to talk to, talk about, I, I'm, I'm qualified to uh, discuss it, the hits and the the mafia history. So let, let's jump in. So again, Frankie Cali, right, was the uh, allegedly the the uh, boss of the Gambino crime family. But let's just look at something very quickly because this is important. Now this is the killer. His name is Anthony Camello. I mean, no disrespect, by the way. You know, right? To the people who are watching this, I fucking let me just stop for a second. Listen, guys. This is this is media, all right? I don't mean any disrespect by putting you guys out there, but we got to talk about it, right? Fucking guy, man, fucking Anthony Camillo, he's got he's got Q on his hand. He's got a fucking Q. He wrote Q on his fucking hand, man. Dude. Fucking we got to look at this shit, man. So here he is. Right? Here's his Camillo. We'll look more at it, but right in his hand, he's flashing this to the press. Uh, he's flashing his hand to the press. What does it say? United we stand, mega forever, right? And the, the mainstream media uh, said, oh, what's the thing in the middle? It looks like a like a O. No, it's a fucking Q, right? There it is. Q, mega forever, right? I don't know what it, down here, I, I, I don't know what this is, but this is surely mega forever, united we stand, mega forever, and Q. All right, so... So let's let's talk about this. Who the hell is this guy, right? Who the fuck is this guy? Right? Who is this guy? So so let, let's just start here and watch. Let's watch a hit. Start off with a hit. I gotta make a phone call. I meet you at the drugstore. Tell the goddamn pharmacist to call Dr. Iaconis. I should get a 60-day supply of the plavix. <laughs> Two shots. Two shots. Make sure you shoot two shots. That's a fucking real hit, right? or was it? It's a fake hit. So, oh, by the way, to while you're here, while you're here, uh, become a Patreon of the channel. Thank you very much. I have stickers for sale. This is how this is people people supported television, <laughs> internet. I right? I have two stickers. I got the old one, ah, and the new one. La 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 la, classic and modern. You can get these on eBay. Also, I'm looking for 300 people to. Become Spartans. 300 at Sparta. See, we're moving up. We got 27 Patreons looking for 300 so that, so that, so, so bro man can eat. Right? So we can keep this shit going, man. This shit is nothing for free in this life, man. Fucking, you know what I'm saying? So become a Patreon. If you want to make a, uh, a one-time contribution, you hit PayPal. If you don't want to, if you want to, if you give me your address, right? I know people are reluctant to do that, but if you if you scribble in your snail mail, I'll send you a couple of free stickers when you become a Patreon. Okay, so uh, there you go. So let's talk about let's talk about the hit. So so let's just look historically, right? There's uh, Paul Castellano, right? It's the Gambino crime family, right? And what's what's the front story, right? Gambino, Frankie Cali was the final boss. And was killed 
five days ago, six days ago in Staten Island in front of his house. We'll talk about the actual murder, but I just want to talk about about the uh, and, and its connection to Q, right? if any. Right? So here's, let's talk about the history of the crime family. So this is Paul Castellano, right? And I, I could do this off the top of my head because I know. Paul Castellano was, was uh, he was, he married Gambino, Carmine Gambino's daughter, right? So he became his son-in-law, right? By, right? To a marriage, right? So Castellano was an underboss for a long time. And then when Gambino died, Castellano took over and he was whacked in front of Spark Steakhouse with Thomas Bellotti, who who people thought was in fact a bodyguard, but he was actually next in line to take over Paul Castellano's position, right? After Paul Castellano stepped down, right? So it's a, it was a battle, a mob battle between the Queens crew, John Gotti, and the Staten Island crew, Paul Castellano and and uh, guys like Tommy Bellotti, right? Who I, I, I mean, I know these, I, I grew up in Staten Island. I know this guy's house. I know Bellotti's kids. You know, I grew up with these people. I know who they are. Right, they weren't that you know. It wasn't they weren't unfamiliar. If you lived there, you knew who they were. You knew who the gangsters were, right? So, so there was also another name, Anilio Del Croce. He was the consigliere, the counselor of the Gambino crime family, and he also lived about two blocks away from where I lived. Right, so you know, I know his son. Right, we they were. So uh, what I'm trying to say is, is the background here is very interesting because the kid that shot the the now the then the now godfather the dead godfather is is probably he's like a young thug you know trying to make his name in the scene right so there is a possible a possible mob tie they're not saying that he's in the mob but the Q thing what's up with the fucking Q thing right I'm gonna find out so Castellano uh, other this is when the the Saint Valentine's Day massacre these are just famous hits right right um. This is uh, Angelo Bruno. Here's uh, Albert Anastasi. got shot in the barbershop. You remember that one? Or Carmine. This is Galente. Carmine Galente. You remember the famous shot where he's got the, uh, he still has a cigar in his mouth? Right. So, not that one. Where is he? Yeah. So, remember, he's got these, he died with a cigar in his mouth. Right? Fucking guy. Man. So, so, um, yeah. So, so, Let's just now let's go into who Carmine, who who Anthony Camillo is. We're gonna look at his Facebook page. We're gonna look at the whole thing. Right? I got I got a whole bunch of shit. So just just tuck in, man. Earlier today, members of the Detective Bureau, together with our partners in the Regional Task Force, placed into custody a 24-year-old male, Anthony Camillo. Mr. Camillo is currently being held in jail in New Jersey pending court appearances, where we anticipate we will have him return to Staten Island to face murder charges for the death of Francisco Cali, which occurred on this past Wednesday evening. Just to, just to officiate it, right? This is the NYPD. It's all real. They got him. He, he, lived, he was living in his basement, in, uh, his mother's basement in New Jersey. He's going to be extradited back to Staten Island for murder charges. This remains a very active investigation with significant contributions from multiple units throughout the NYPD. All right, so they, so that's all. They're, they're investigating. They don't know for sure what his mob ties are, right? They probably never will. The kids probably, that's one of the, one of the, one of the uh, cardinal rules. Don't say anything right, when you're caught. Are new developments in the murder of a reputed mob boss on Staten Island. The suspected killer making it. So there he is in court holding up his hand, right? What's in his hand? I showed you what's in his hand, right? This is what's in his hand. Right? This is his hand right here. Right? We just talked about it. Now let's just continue. His first court appearance in New Jersey today, flashing messages scrawled on his hand there. He's accused of luring Francesco Colley out of his home by ramming a car backwards into another car to get him out of the house. Here's ABC's Lindsay Davis. Some of the first images tonight of the 24-year-old police say murdered an alleged mobster. Is it true you're waiving your right for extradition? Yes, sir. Anthony Camello appearing today in a New Jersey courtroom with the words MAGA forever scribbled on his palm. Camello is accused of murdering reputed Gambino family crime boss Francesca. 
So that's Frankie Cali right there. You notice ABC didn't mention the Q. Right? That's what's suspicious, right? That's what I'm talking about. So there's uh, Frankie Cali, 50-year-old uh, Gambino crime boss. Right? He's from Sicily. He lived on Toad Hill. He was a very silent kind of boss, not like uh, John Bellotti, the Teflon, ta- uh, Teflon Don. Right? So he's dead. Let's go Frankie boy Cali. Police say Camello shot the 53-year-old purported godfather after allegedly smashing into Cali's parked car outside his Staten Island home. Confirm male shot. Get a rush on the bus. Just moments before the murder, the two men were reportedly spotted on grainy surveillance talking and shaking hands. Police say they later tracked Camillo's phone to the crime scene and discovered his fingerprints on Callie's blood-stained SUV. Sources say investigators believe he was dating Callie's female relative when Callie reportedly told him to stop seeing her. This is the first time a reputed... So let's just stop right there. So, so it, it, the, way, the way the media is spinning it or the story is going so far is that he's not a gangster. He was infatuated with Frankie Callie's niece or daughter or something, right? Some relative. That's fucking bullshit, right? People don't... See, that's the thing like with, with gangsters. People think like, oh, gangsters, they're, they're, uh, they all shoot each other randomly and wildly. No, it's not really the case, right? That's to, to, for, for someone to shoot the, the godfather of a, of a crime family over, over a, a dispute of a pussy, you know, over, over a, you know, is it, ridiculous, right? Now, was this kid paid to get close to Frankie Cali by trying to date his daughter? Yeah, there you go, right? Now, how do you get close to the godfather? Well, you try to date his, his niece. Or you you try to you get close to him, where you could shake his hand. And you get to, he knows who you are, right? It's just common sense, right? Is he is it was it uh, is is a mob hit ruled out? No, the mob hit is not ruled out, and it gets even more deep when you got this Q shit going on, right? To stop seeing her. This is the first time a reputed mob boss has been killed in New York City in more than thirty years. But True. police say they don't believe that this is mob related david false that's false right it is it, it it's not you can't rule it out yet all right so gambino crime family i just want to talk about the history one more time so again it's it's what i just told you there's five families in new york the gambino crime family the castra nostra right um it stems all the way back to italy right they, you can't get in unless you're unless they could trace you all the way back to the, the old country right and uh, you saw again. You know it's interesting too. People don't know that, but that's the that's the connection to to Giuliani and Trump, right? They, they were all see Donald. You can't do business in New York City without dealing with the Gambinos or you know or any of these crime families because they control the garbage, they control the dumpsters that pick up the the waste, they control the construction, they control the Iron Workers Union, the the electricians union, they're all mob inf- infiltrated, right? So, so that the connection to Trump, the make America great again, could just be inspirational. But it, it's, it, it is interesting that Giuliani is now sitting in the uh, Oval Office discussing, uh, you know, Trumpville, right? So Trump and Giuliani are New York guys. Get, Giuliani was instrumental in putting Gat, Gotti away for the murder of Paul Castellano, right? So he, these guys, Trump knows this story, especially if Giuliani is sitting next to him, the then prosecutor, you know, federal prosecutor and and then mayor of New York sitting next to him telling him what's going on. So it hits home, right? And Sammy Bull Gravano, you remember that guy? He, he was the rat. All right, so moving right along, here's, here's a good, just some of the scenes from inside the court. Again, Anthony Camillo. Uh, and we're going to look at his Facebook page next. Check, stand by.
So yeah, they never they the this is the local Staten Island paper, Staten Island Live, Staten Island Advance, very big paper on Staten Island. And you notice they never allude to the Q in the middle. Now look at look at the Q just for a second, right? Let's just analyze the Q, right? Of the most the most prominent thing in, that he wanted you to know was Q. Because look how many times, one, two, three, he circled it five times, right? Is it is it a zero? No, it's a fucking Q. There's no doubt about it, right? One, two, three, four, five, six times. He went around with a like this on his hand. So, like again, and is it is it is it right? Look, if he's if he's right handed and he he puts Q on his hand, right? Right? If you Q your own hand and then you show it, that's exactly what it would look like. So so what I'm trying to say is the local papers, nobody is reporting the Q. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, so, but that's definitely a Q. We'll look into the psychology of the Q. That's what I want to do. Next. All right, so... Here's his Facebook page, right? Before they take it down, we've got to look at it, right? Anthony Camillo, he went to Tottenville High School. He's uh, born, lives in Staten Island, from Staten Island, single. Uh, it was an early shot of him. Is it him? Yeah, it's definitely him, right? It's, it's definitely him, right? There he is, right? Is it Anthony Camillo? Yes, that's him, right? It's just a younger version of him, right? So, yeah, I don't want to look at kids. So, there's, there's his buddies. There's his friends, right? Fucking homeboys from Staten Island, good guys, guys is fucking dog. He's he likes motorcycles. He likes Cheech and Chang. He's his boy. Fucking how you doing, man? You fucking doing the fucking Staten Island motherfucker, man. Fucking it's a fucking man, man. What the fuck are you? Hey Anthony, what are you doing? You fucking Anthony. <laughs> Hey, give me the fucking, give me some of that shit, man. You fucking, you know, I'm fucking, you fucking, you know, fucking, you know, that shit was good, man. I'm fucking, uh, give me some of that fucking shit, man. I'm sorry, guys. You guys are cool, man. I grew up just like you, man. I know who you are. I know who you are. And it's, there he is, man. It's kill, he's with his homeboys, man. He fucking, this guy's meatball sauce. Grandma's fucking cooking. Eh, come on. And you fucking you go to when you live in Staten Island, you go to a concert, you get go to MetLife right in, right over the bridge in Jersey. Yeah, you go see your favorite hockey team or whatever they're going to see. You go see a concert. Who are they saying? Kiss? This is fucking <laughs> this is a dirty laundry, gym, work in the rain. Fuck, I missed electric zoo. Oh, oh, oh. And you see all this shit, right? So uh so there's one more thing I wanted to look at in this conglomerate of montage of someone else's business, right? In his photos, right, there's an interesting photograph. Not the not that, not the kid. I don't want to see no kids. Album video. Here we go. So there's a interest watch this video. Does it have a uh it has a bit of a racist a racist tone to it. <laughs> So, what did we just see, man? We saw fuck N word. I'm not gonna diss him, right? So he's he's fuck ne Negroes, right? And he's throwing a swast swast sign, right? A a a zig heil, zig heil, white power, right? Let's watch it again. Three, three zig heil, zig heil, zig heil, zig heil. Where are they? Fuck niggas. 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 Fuck 
What do you do if they start walking out the house with like six guys in an AR-15? <laughs> sort of. Like an egg crazy Russian guy. Maybe like, damn. You can hear his, their accents. They're clearly, they're Staten Island boys. They're Staten Island kids, right? USSR. <laughs> this is a long time ago, right? This is eight years ago when they, when they were kids, but nonetheless. They're sitting in the car, smoking pot, watching a crime scene. They're watching cops go into a building. You How do I it? zoom in on this fucking piece of shit phone, bro? Bro, there's like... How many cops are there? Six? Seven? Anyway, nothing really exciting there, right? So... So, as a, as a finality, here's, here's the uh, post reporting, and I'll, I'll wrap it up. So, uh, suspected murder of mobster... Frankie Cali, this is New York Post reporting, uh, has an X on his back. <laughs> Damn right he does. Right, is he is he gonna get whacked in jail? You just shot you shot the the head of the Gambino crime family. You don't think that you think you're just gonna get a free pass? Well, you're, you're you're doomed, right? Law enforcement authority, unless of course how it plays out, unless he was hired to do it, if he was a hired assassin. Well, then they should, by rights, give him a pass on a hit inside jail. But you can't prevent that from happening. The other thing is that if he's a patsy, they say, yeah, 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 go shoot him and we'll take care of you. And then they kill him. All right. So it, it's, you know, it's interesting what's going to happen to this guy. Right. Law enforcement authorities anticipate a possible assassination attempt against a Staten Island man suspected of gunning down Mob boss Francesco Frankie Boy Cali, sources said. Officials haven't confirmed that the Gambino crime family has posted a bounty on Anthony Camillo, but the general feeling is that there's an X on, his, uh, on this guy's back, one source said. Mm, that's not hard to find out because generally, I, first of all, when, when a mob boss gets hit like that, there's usually five people standing up to... Say, oh no, no, I did it, and then or in in the back rooms they say I did it, and then they're trying to seize power. It's a power grab. That's what an, a murder is. It's not a mob hit is not because they dislike the, the mob guy personally, or because because he was fucking his daughter or his sister, or whatever. It's be, it's a power grab, right? Why did the guy get shot, right? And and who fills the void? Who fills the power vacuum? Usually you'll see a couple other people, you know, uh, ancillary hits happen as a result. So he does have an X on his back. And uh, I know I'm going way too long on this. But uh, so, so that's the that's the story of Frankie Cali, right? Now, what does it have to do with Q, right? Is it, it, it stems into this, this whole Zig Heil, this, this, this white, White is right, white supremacy, how it links to Donald Trump. Is there a direct connection? Is it just inspired? Is it, is it inspired? Is the, is the now Q movement turning into a radical racist movement? A, a movement of, of lone wolf killers that kill and then claim, you know, claim Q and put it out there for everybody to see? Right, is that what we're dealing with right now? I don't know, but I, I do know Q is. Uh, I've said it right from the beginning that it's a LARP. It's, it's. There's no. I still hold true that there's no connection whatsoever to state. It's probably a paid, some kind of you know think tank, well funded. That doesn't mean it's connected to state. It's like a like a super fund, like a super pact, right? Where it's funded and you get a bunch of a bunch of vulnerable people that don't want to believe that Trump is just another actor, that that Trump is is a you know just a player in a in a bigger scheme of players, right? They want to believe so bad. Oh, it's all gonna happen. The plan is all. Oh my God, it's happening. Oh my God, it's fucking happening, right? They want to believe so bad, so bad that the plan is gonna happen and everybody's gonna get locked up. And we're going to drain the swamp. Right? They want to believe, right? So uh, what's your thoughts? Put your thoughts down below. And Marcus Conti reporting.